McGinnis. Smart save. Northern Ireland get the second goal. Now McGinn has swept it up for Northern Ireland. You grew up watching these tournaments, you grew up watching the best players in the world, but to sort of get on the pitch was just, I was just over the moon. And, Never thought in a million years that I'd end up obviously scoring a, an important second goal. We knew we, we could have done a lot better against obviously Poland. I think we were changing shape. We're sort of maybe going more attacking, as you'd like to say. We're, we're going to get after Ukraine and uh, seen that from the start of the game, how, how, how well we pressed. Uh, but for me personally, now going to the game, I'd sort of a good vibe that I thought hopefully I get the opportunity to. To even just get a run out and once Michael obviously uh, called me to come on for I think it was Jamie Ward at the time uh, I was just over the moon because first time in 30 years we've qualified for a major tournament and it's the first uh, first time for me to, to obviously get a run out at a major tournament. Now regarding sort of the atmosphere, the whole occasion, it's things you just dream of but to obviously live in that moment of, of scoring that goal and then just run towards the green and white army was just sensational. Do you remember what you did when, when Gareth scored off the fence? Do you remember any of it? Uh, not not too much actually. I think because uh, I obviously scored that second goal, I think you remember more of, of, of your own moment. But just just joy because we obviously scored our first goal at a major tournament uh, in so many years, and had the opportunity we knew if we won that game, we had the opportunity of obviously going further. And thankfully, uh, Big G did score that important goal, and and obviously at me scoring that sort of that second goal, I think it uh, it worked out well for us because we, we knew if we. We didn't concede many goals against Germany, it would, would obviously maybe qualify that bit quicker and I think that, that was the case and thankfully I, I played a part and I was probably the only person in the stadium wanting Josh to cross the ball so uh, I remember because I remember I was about to shoot and then Stuarty shouted over so I've left the ball and Stuarty's, Stuarty struck it well and uh, I've just like, like any sort of good attacking player should do is follow the ball in and thankfully it just fell for me and I was like just please hit the net. No, like I've been quite fortunate. I've scored a lot of very, very good goals in my career, and yeah, no, I love the USA one. It was just something special. But I think uh, regarding sort of how much it meant to me, family, friends, the Green and White Army, how much it meant to the whole nation, even the tournament, everything. Just I think I was just was definitely the best moment of my career for sure, and I don't think I'll ever be beaten. But yeah, it's it's one I'll definitely live long in the memory. Even to now, the, the amount of sort of the message you receive every time it comes round, the, the sort of the year anniversary, two year anniversary, five year anniversary is going to be, it's, it breaks back uh, great memories and even just simple things, even when we're doing like team meetings and stuff and we're speaking about different games and you have like sort of different players in the background and stuff, it always, it's always sort of built around the Euros and to be part of that is, is, is obviously great and it just leaves you hungry for more so it's, you want to obviously go and achieve the uh, more major tournaments and we, we know it's, it's always difficult but I'm thankful I've done that and it just makes you hungry for more.